welcome back for another video this is val from val's kitchen in today's video i'm gonna do a pumpkin punch jamaican style so these are all the ingredients we have to have our pumpkin i'm not gonna use the, the typical dragon store this time i'm gonna use some red label and some jamaican gold rum real typical white rum gold rum instead of the white it's nice just the same our supplegen you know to boots up the taste you know and turn it up yes and i'm gonna use a pinch of salt i'm not gonna use all of this salt during the process i'm gonna show you the, the amount of salt and i'm gonna use a, a teaspoon of nutmeg and we must have our vanilla must have flavor i'm gonna show you all how i'm gonna put all this together to get a perfect pumpkin punch I'm just gonna boil the pumpkin for about a five minutes. Just for a five minutes, sorry. Right? Pumpkin finished cook. I don't want too much water. Same water that I cook the pumpkin with. I'm using the same water to make the punch because all the nutrients see it. So the water yellow. Yeah, so just using the same water to make the punch. Turn this on a lower. So the consistency, guys, thick. It's hot right now. I'm gonna put in, put all the ingredients together and put it in the refrigerator for a couple of minutes. Or even, you know, you can come together. You just can get the right consistency. I use two tablespoons of the white. I don't want over for white, right, guys? So when I mix it. I put two tablespoons of the red label, but when I mix it now, if it wants some more, you still can put some more. Just, just the taste, you know, you don't want to overpower the thing. Yeah, I have some nutmeg, some vanilla to taste, a pinch of salt. Right? Yeah. Condensed milk. So we always use the drug and salt. You know, but I say I'm just gonna use the different some different this time so you get a different flavor. Put all the flavors and just taste. As you go, you put on your taste until you get the right taste that you want. Right? It smells good. It tastes good now. It's the first time I'm using the wine and the rum. I always use, as I say, I always use the dragon stone. But this gives a real different, nice flavor. Here, guys, I have some curry chicken that I'm doing for dinner. You know, I'm just doing this. I'm going to see the pot on the fire, so I'm going to wonder what I'm cooking. So, cooking some curry chicken. Guys, I tell me if you all want to see an updated curry chicken video. I have one already on the channel. But you can always tell me if you all want to see another curry chicken video. Some plain rice. You know, turn on the stove with a low heat. They're steaming. 
you know, you kind of tilt and do some garlic butter to cover it and then you take it time now and cook. Yummy, yummy, so the sunny. You see them black things you're not to see, you don't know set it up me like. It makes it make it cool, you know, you know, but if you put it in the fridge without the ice, make it cool, you don't have to use any ice, but for now, you're using the ice. Yes, guys, this is the final product. This is Val's Twist. I wear from the Dragon Stout with my red label wine and the Molokka rum. It's optional though, guys. Um, alcohol is optional. <laughs> Turn on the post notification bell, put the settings on all so you never miss an upload. Alright, and thanks again for watching. Thank you all. Bye.